Well, our next guest has been highlighting the best of the Consumer Electronics Show for a couple of decades now. But this year, like so many things, it's going to be totally different. Uh, CES 2021, all happening from the comfort of his home. <laughs> we have tech journalist and author Mark Saltzman joining us live from Toronto, where you get to kick back and watch what's going to happen. <laughs> Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning, Netta. Yeah, it's not the same uh, not being in Las Vegas uh, for CES. I've been I'm attending the show, as you mentioned, about 21, 22 years consecutively. Uh, but the CES, which is, serves as a window to the future of uh, the tech space, has been around for 54 years. But needless to say, the first time it's all virtual this year. It's an all digital show, but still some really cool technology debuting online, beginning with this little tease from Samsung yesterday for a domestic robot that they're working on. Check this out. Whoa. It's called Bot Handy, and it can pick up your laundry off the floor, <laughs> load the dishwasher for you, and hey, even pour you a glass of California wine oh, and bring it you. to you wherever you are in the home. How cool is that? <laughs> and after that. the year that we've had, uh, hey, uh, I'll, I'll take it. But it's not something we can expect in the near future. It is a prototype. Okay. Still exciting to see what they're cooking up behind the scenes. What you will see from Samsung sooner than that, though, are new TVs. Of course, we are spending a lot more time watching TV, and this is called Neo QLED t television. It's a new kind of technology that's that uses significantly smaller LED lights behind the scenes, so it can be packed into the same space, giving you more control over brightness and five times higher contrast ratio, which you can see there, those deep blacks, which really makes the colors pop as well. There's a new quantum processor on under the hood as well, giving you a fast performance. It's a smart TV, of course, and up to 8K resolution. So really clear images. You know, you're future-proofing wow. your investment here. No word yet on when they're coming out or how much, but it will be in 2021, and that looked uh, really exciting, even online. Yeah, to see something so bright like that. And I mean, we know so many people are stuck at home, quarantine life, they're watching TVs, they're on their laptops nonstop, from kids to all kinds of ages. Uh, what's new with that world? <laughs> You're right, Netta. We're working and schooling from home like never before. So there are a few new laptops debuting this week. My favorite by far is the HP Elite Dragonfly Max. This is it right here. It's turning a lot of heads uh, for a few reasons. It's a slender two-in-one that can transform from a laptop to a tablet and back again. You could use your fingertips or your voice, a digital pen, a trackpad, or a keyboard. It's made from recycled materials, including ocean-bound plastics, which I really like. And it was really designed for online communication thanks to a five megapixel webcam, which is really high end for this kind of a laptop. A lot of clarity there for Zoom calls like we're doing now. And it's got a little physical shutter, so you can actually close it for extra privacy manually. I really like that. And it's got four different microphones for capturing better audio, and they're using artificial intelligence there as well. So the people you're chatting with online can hear you very clearly. So that's going to come out this year. And computer accessories are popular as well. This is a new storage for from Western Digital, the first time that they've been able to pack up to four terabytes of storage in an SSD or solid state drive. There's four different models they've unveiled between the WD and the SanDisk uh, lines. This is the WD Black P50 drive. So it's smaller than a deck of cards, super fast, durable, because there's no moving parts, and with up to four terabytes of storage. So you can plug that into a computer, an Xbox, uh, a PlayStation, and access content right off the drive. So it's perfect for games. Uh, creative professionals and content creators like YouTubers, and that's coming this uh, spring. And then finally, we've seen a lot of touchless tech, like right. as you can imagine, because of the pandemic, hands-free tech, like this uh, You by Moen smart kitchen faucet. Check this out. <laughs> Not only can you wave your hand over the sensor to start the flow of water, like you could in, say, a public uh, washroom, right. but it also lets you specify how much water you want and what temperature you want oh. using your voice or an app. So you can say, Moen, give me two cups of hot water. And if you put a pot underneath the spout there, it'll it'll give you exactly what you're asking for, hands-free if you've got a smart <laughs> speaker, or you can use an app. Uh, and it's just so cool. And this is indicative of what we're gonna see going forward in this new normal, as we're trying to uh, I... remain a lot more touchless with our tech. So okay. that's just a glimpse of what you can expect in the near future. Mark, I love that. I want Moen to, I want it to also have the what the robot can do with the wine. Moen, can you give me a glass of wine? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. 
and while we would have not you, be great combining the two. Yes. While we have you, <laughs> I, like I do want you, you to tell us, are you, you know, happy to be able to kick back and watch this from home? Or is it such a bummer that you can't go to Vegas and take part? A little from column A, a little from column okay. B. I, I do miss the hustle and bustle of Vegas, 175,000 of my fellow geeks descending on the city to uh, kick the tires on tech in person. I do miss that. Uh, but there's also something to be said about eating better from home, not waiting in <laughs> line for an hour for a $35 hamburger at the convention center. So there, there are some <laughs> benefits from uh, being in my home office here, but I do miss it. I'll be honest. I do miss traveling there. And uh, it is the, the Super Bowl of tech. Mm -hmm. It's the big show every Every year where all the big tech debuts the DVD right. player the camcorder the Xbox uh, HD TV this is where it initially uh, makes its debut so not quite the same online but as you can see still really cool stuff that we're seeing virtually is the table hiding your pajama bottoms <laughs> <laughs> no okay. I'm actually I'm wearing jeans I guarantee it <laughs> all right Mark thank you very much thanks for showing us all, all the of best. that cheers <laughs> I know Stella and Eric I mean how advanced are things now